Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Today I have a bunch of different changes to show you, so I am at the Spawn High Speed Rail Station again. And as you can see, we have the second platform in use now. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. Also, Platform 3 and 4... Platform 4 goes to Callus LRT and Platform 3 is still unused. So I'm gonna hop onto the system map real quick. There's a lot of people online today, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, nine people online? Wow. The MSPT is holding up. Okay, so if we just look at the high speed, we can see this line to Callus, this line to North Tundra, and then there's a third line that goes up to St. Anne's, and then this one down to BTC as usual. So I've renamed a couple of these things, so this one is now called the Northeast Line. Looks like there's a little bit of jams, but it's okay. Yeah, the Northeast Line goes from High Speed Terminal 1 to North Tundra. And this new one, Northern Heights Line, goes from Spawn straight to St. Anne's, stopping through North Tundra and Bay Bridge. So originally I was thinking of taking the Northeast Line to the Northeast, of course, and not going to St. Anne's at all. But I think Lily wanted a line from Spawn straight to St. Anne. So I've opened a new service, which goes straight through like that. And when we come back to the game, this is using Platform 2. Alright, so I think the next thing we can do is just to take the train there and take a look for ourselves. This is North Tundra Station. It's been refurbished a little by Sleepy. I really like the new design of the floor and the walls using random blocks. And let me show you the tunnels I made. So this is a, a bit of a crazy network of tunnels. And there's a lot of crisscrossing happening here. Like tunnels going through each other. And this merges on a four track main line back to spawn. So I'm not gonna go into detail explaining this. But basically there is one set of tracks for the Northeast Line and one set of tracks for the Northern Heights Line. So there's a train that went through. But the Northern Heights Line will share the same tracks as the line going to BTC. So I'm following this track right here. It merges with the other line. Actually no, this is the southbound. Yeah, as I said, it's quite confusing. So which means this platform 3 going to St. Anne's will share tracks with this train, which is doing right now. And this train is only the trains to BTC. And this platform is the northeast line, which will go to the northeast. And finally, this platform going to spawn will have both the northeast line and the northern heights line. So the advantage of doing all this is that if you have a certain destination in mind, you can just stand at the platform and the trains will just take you there. You don't have to worry about which service comes first and run to the other platform to grab the other train that goes to spawn faster, but all the spawn trains will collect at platform two. So then you just have to wait here and get on the next available train. Same thing with the trains up north. You don't have to worry about where the train came from or which platform to wait at. You just have to wait right here and the next available train will take you there. So today, I would like to expand this line. Yeah, right now it's just running into a wall. But right now I want to extend this line all the way to the northeast. As you can see, I've started building tunnels already. Just this little part. So just to here, this is a temporary turn back for the Northeast Line. So the trains will go here and then the, whoa, look at that. <laughs> and then the inbound trains will take this path, come down here, take a little curve. And last time when I was doing this, the tunnel operations were taking so long that I just disconnected from the server because I had to go. But now that it's done, we can check it out and see if the tunnel's built properly. 
but it looks like there's a lot of server lag. Which is kind of to be expected because there's so many people online. And it looks like a couple people got kicked because of the lag. Unfortunately. It's still lagging. Yeah, so this actually merges with the other high speed line that comes through here. And if we follow this, it goes to platform 2 going to spawn. Yeah, the tracks are quite crazy. It's a lot of different merging. So this is actually split off from the main line coming from St. Anne's. So the trains go here and merge with the northeast line from here. Okay, I think there is a part of a tunnel that needs to be built as well. I just saw that. And that is the right angle turn here. Bridge, wall, and tunnel. Oh, Nemo is here. So this tunnel will go all the way through to the northeast. Okay. Wow, yeah. It's absolutely a peak hour for the server right now, which is really cool. I, I don't know if I've seen so many people online before. I think I have. I just don't remember. Wow, the lag is crazy. I wish I had money to get a better SSD. Wait, did I not build that last tunnel? Oh, I did not. Oh, yeah, I did not do that tunnel. And Sleepy had a bunch of tasks queued after me, so then I have to wait for all of their tasks to finish. So tunnel wall and then Sleepy has four operations. Oh, only 16 blocks. So those should go by pretty quickly. And then my tunnel. Okay, everyone saying hi on YouTube. Hi to YouTube. Okay, so I did look at the square map earlier, and I kind of planned out where I want to build my line. So the tracks turn a hard right from North Tundra, which means we will go this way. And I've actually scouted out this place a little bit and where I can build a station. So if you've been following the builder proposals on Discord, I actually plan to build a little resort here because it's like a nice lake area, sort of. I think this lake is too big, so I'm going to use this one probably. I'm going to use this lake to build sort of like a resort here. And the advantage of this is that it has a lot of biomes mixed in right next to each other. So it's going to look really unique. So there's this lavender forest, and there's this blackstone area, and then there's the mesa or badlands, and then there's this light green forest. I don't remember the names of all of these. And I think this is like a terracotta beach. So let's teleport there, 64273737. All right, here we are. My render distance is pretty low. I wonder, I think I reset it to eight before. But still, because of the server render distance, there's not much to see. Maybe I'll turn up the server render distance so that things will load more and it'll look better in the videos. And I don't think it'll cause that much lag as well. So this is the Badlands and this is the jungle thing. Let's see. It's called Tropical Jungle. Cool. And then this is what? River. Oh, there's something. Amethyst Rainforest. Is that what this is? Wow, Amethyst Rainforest. I like the name of that. And then this part. Bryce Canyon. Nice. Okay. So this would be a perfect place to build a high speed station and a resort as well. This is a jungle temple. I don't think I've ran into one of these in survival mode. Only in uh, creative I've seen these. Okay, so I'm gonna claim this area just off the bat and call this Jonathan's Resort HSR so that people will know that this is my resort. 
Okay, let's take a look at the square map, just in case. So since most of the high-speed tracks are underground, I'm gonna need a way for the tracks to curve down there. And this mountain might be a good way to do that, so the trains will just cut through the mountain and curve down and not come out the other side. Alright, let's try doing that. And So I'm gonna prototype this from smooth stone so that I can get an idea of how it, it will look. Y80 is a nice height, I suppose. So I'm gonna stack this for 101. And how far does this go? Oh wow, that's like perfect. Almost cutting through stuff. Okay, I'm gonna build the prototype for this now. Um, maybe I can follow the theme of the main station and use andesite for the track bed. Andesite platform. Okay, I made a 12 block long, 12 block wide platform. I kind of feel like I should make two sets of high speed platforms, but I'll I'll make them stacked on top of each other just to change up the design a little bit. So stack 100, we'll make that. I should probably stack it like that though. There we go. I'm gonna grab a normal axe, break that. Sorry trees, we can't have so many trees around the high speed area. Okay, as with most of my high speed, I like to make the platform a little longer than what's required. So if I make eight blocks on both sides, I'm gonna have to stack 16 more, I think. So how long is the platform right now? 117. Yeah, I think that's correct. So, 8. Oh, and G-Man is calling me. Whoa, what's this station? Oh, this is on how station. Oh, and G-Man wants ideas of what to put in the middle. Um, Flower beds. <laughs> I'm not sure. There the tracks are. And I'm gonna need to figure out how I'll make the outer area enclosure of the station. Maybe I can do a similar design of what I did before with the arches. But I feel like I always do that. Looks like NG Man is already helping me with the station. After a long and tedious process of building tunnels and connecting tracks, I have successfully connected this part all the way to North Tundra. So this is a steep slope, it goes down here, takes a big long curve. I even put 45 degree nodes in the middle here. The nodes are right here underwater. And then continuing on to the curve all the way to North Tundra. I'm not going to fly all the way over there because there's been a lot of lag when loading chunks and I don't want to do that again. It seems to be a bit better now, but I don't want to speak too soon again. But that also means that we can connect the stations together finally. So I can put my famous turn back, famous temporary turn back. So I'll just use one ray rails just in case. Okay. This is my beautiful turn back. And now if I go into the dashboard, there's a new update where if you hold shift and press the sort buttons, then it'll jump all the way to the top or the end of the list. So that's a nice little feature if you didn't know about that. I don't think I announced it in the change logs either for the update on Discord. So there it is. So let's refresh this and success. All right, so the lines are running now, or the train is gonna run now. And let's put some temporary passenger information things so that we can know when the train will come. Wow, it takes three minutes to get here from spawn. That's actually not that bad to think of it. Oh, Express Rail Fanner is here. Now that the tracks are connected, 
I should probably start thinking about the design of the station. Choosing the blocks is always the hardest part, I feel like. I think for this style, a dark theme might be good. Because it's all black stone here. A dark color might make it stand out more. Or no, maybe just a natural wood texture. Also, I don't really like this purple, bright purple color. Pale yellow, maybe that would look a bit better. Oh, the first train. Oh, I, I need to rename my northeast line northbound to not NTU, but what station code should I use? <laughs> John. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> does oak wood have block states? Oh, it does. It has axis X, Y, and Z as well. All right, so I've kind of designed a curve like that. I'm gonna try to stack it and see how that looks. Stack one, 10, and then here, six. All right. Oh, wow, that was the perfect stack. Don't know what I think about the ceiling. Or if it should be higher so it goes over this part. I don't know. Might be a little awkward cutting through stuff as well. Whoa. Why is there a road here already? <laughs> Things are just popping up left and right. Kind of like city skylines. Things just happen without you knowing and then when you come back, you're like, whoa, what's all this new things? But that's all cool. I think it could work. It's just that it has to go over these two little mountains. Okay, let's try moving it up again. So if it's up here, I think we can regen this section. So this needs to go. This part needs to go as well as this part. But here can stay. Basically this chunk can regen. Don't know what everyone is doing. I hope they're not causing trouble. I'm sure they're not. Yeah, that looks much better because this is like regen and the ceiling goes or the roof goes over it. Ooh, actually I kind of know a design style. Yeah, so if I make it sort of like a um, jungle wood theme, like Coconut Mall on Sandtown, if some of you know what that looks like. Those, that station uses a lot of jungle wood and quartz, so that would look more like a resort theme. I think I'm gonna try doing that here. As for the poles, I need to figure out how to stack them as well. So there's gonna be a pole, a two by three pole right here. Don't know how high this actually is. Oh, 20 was perfect. I'm gonna mark down the center of the cars first. So if I decide to make, yeah, I can make just the poles at these points. Okay, there's the poles. How do I make this more jungle themed or resort? Jungle wood? Jungle wood might work. The ceiling also seems a bit plain. Oh, that's a nice color. Light green like that. I built this little curve in between. Don't know what I think about this. Maybe I have to add something in the middle, but I don't know what to add. Maybe fences along the back? Or maybe if this was one block lower. Mm, I don't like that it's the same color though. So maybe I have to use a different wood type. Or what other fences are there? I might move this a little lower. I still don't think the... I just don't know what block to use to replace it. Maybe just white stained glass panes. Oh, that looks a... That looks kind of cool, I think, because it looks a bit like leaves. Maybe we can keep that. <laughs> it looks funny, but not bad. Okay, I'm gonna copy this to the other side. Interesting Designs 101. It looks a bit like a Christmas holly branch too. Yeah, I think this works. <laughs> it, yeah, little odd, but it works. And I'm sorry 
to say I want to remove this middle section because it's a bit out of place. That works? That can work. So if we make these arches here, that means we can also put this up there. Well, can this detect the platform? This can. So I guess we could do that. And then if we double it up, maybe it'll look better. Yeah, that definitely looks better. There we go. I think that looks good. Except that here might also need to increase one block. And actually, if we use uh, stairs, that might work too. Right here, stairs. Whoops, that was oak. <laughs> yeah, this one can't use stairs because... Yeah, because it's a half slab right there. Okay, let's check the stairs. Yeah, the stairs have all been replaced, it looks like. Stairs look good, stairs look good. And that curve is missing. All right, I think it might be better if I pull this jungle log out to be three by three so that it gives a bit of death right here. Or else I'm gonna need to expand this middle part out. Maybe like that, but no, I think Making the pillars 3x3 three three might be a better option. Yeah, that looks more sturdy as well. Oh! What happened to my platform? Okay, there we go. Everything's back. Don't know why that platform disappeared. Maybe my copy and paste accidentally wiped the node. But no worries, it's all good now. So I'm gonna continue fixing up the pillars to be 3x3. Three I should probably put some sort of leaves thing here. Hmm. This jungle leaves look very brown. <laughs> oh, some iron supports would be nice. Well, wow, and it goes up to the top pretty nicely. No, I don't really like that. <laughs> I think the displays are a bit far out, but there's not much we can do because well, I guess I could put it here, but it overhangs onto the platform because I want space in the middle for signs. I guess we do have six blocks here. So if we have two signs side by side, it will kind of fit. Maybe, maybe I'll just put the display over here instead. I'm going to need longer signs. Whoever this is, you're invisible, but I can see the particles. There's actually a command that can give you effects without the particles. I feel like you should do that instead next time. Because <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose of being invisible. Okay, now it's time to stack this stuff. And then the last stack will have to start from here. Not bad, not bad. And then... Still feel like this is a bit empty, and I could do some more decorations in the middle. Maybe a tree? <laughs> That's like my go-to when I don't know what to do. So, to make a tree, we probably want... I could add, like, cobblestone to the block palette. Or stone bricks. Stone bricks, maybe. Or normal bricks? I'll give this a try. So it is a 3x3 three three space. It's an odd number, right? Wow, there's a lot of people online. There's 10 people now. The MSPT is staying low except when people load chunks. Wait a second. I've been doing this wrong, I think. So this needs to be here, and this needs to be here. Ah, uh, now I need to change all of them. Okay, that should be a quick fix though. So it's one, one, two, two, three, one, one, two, two, three, and four blocks down the middle. No, one, one, two, two, three, one, one, two, two, three. There we go. Okay, now we just stack this stuff. The stack command is so useful for situations like this. Now for the flower beds or tree beds.
guess you can call them. I'm gonna do it here. It might be too big to put to put a 4x4 hole in the middle. So maybe just like here. No! It's not enough space to grow. Maybe I do spruce. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Christmas tree. Okay, a tree looks weird in here. <laughs> oh, this ugly podsole. Okay, thanks. And I think Navi is gonna try dark oak. We'll see if dark oak looks shorter or if it's less ugly. I guess that works, but the leaves are like poo poo color. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. <laughs> this tree looks good, I guess. <laughs> it's just that dark oak is such a funny shape that it's offset naturally. Okay, now I think it's time to build the lobby. Kind of challenging to build a lobby over the water. But I think I have an idea. So if I did like a basket kind of shape, that will be kind of fun. So how would that look? Whoa, someone's already building a light rail system here. <laughs> and it looks like it's right hand traffic. Okay, maybe I'll just start extending the pillars down first. I do want to keep the shape of the terrain though. Might have to use stairs here or at least a full block. Wow, that spruce tree earlier, it just went all the way down through the ground. Okay, so I kind of make a shape like a basket here. We'll see how it looks after we stack it. Not bad, not bad. Ah, I hate how World Edit does this to the stained glass. Looking good on this side. So one goal that I always have is I try to make it blend in with the environment as good a, as, as well as possible which includes not having like weird world edit set zeros and and stuff like that. And I hope I'm doing a good job here because I just don't like having random holes everywhere. That just doesn't look good. Okay, I pasted in the other side. I think this is a nice curve and it blends in pretty well, I would say. Stacking it would be a bit of a challenge, but we can use the method I usually use, which is to Stack it bit by bit. So this block right here. That's as good as I can get it, I think. Since there are half slabs, half slab holes like that, I can just fill it in with a slab like that. All right, it's coming together. Why is there a K train here? <laughs> what does it say? I can't see the words. Fa san miu, hua shen miao. By the way, this is a big update that just dropped yesterday is to add destination sign on most of the trains. So if you haven't seen that, please go to Discord and check it out. I'm gonna remove this sand just at the surface level. Hmm. The station is gonna cut through this track unless I make like a overpass for it. I don't know what I want to do for the end here either. Maybe just a big wall to close it off. But then there's more stuff here. Someone's on the train. Cake. Okay, time to stack the other side. Maybe I'll extend these pillars down first. We still have a lot of people online. I think I'll start stacking at this block. Well, this block right here. Perfect. Now it just goes right up to the edge. So it'd be cool to make a big archway that goes around this. I don't know what this is gonna be. <laughs> Why is there a random road in my resort? But we'll keep it, we'll keep it. <laughs> okay, what should the arch be made out of? I think quartz might be appropriate in this situation. So let's grab some smooth quartz. I think making this like half dome shape might look good. So I'm gonna try doing that. Hmm. Maybe one more block here. And one more here. Yeah. 
That looks interesting. <laughs> interesting not meaning necessarily good. Maybe I can finish off the rest of this curve with jungle slabs. Maybe I'll just fill this in with sand so that it blends in with the terrain as well. Cool, I patched this other side with sand. So now it looks like it blends in. <laughs> looks like. And then this side has the tunnel. Cool. Maybe I'll just break a couple blocks here so that the arch shows a little more. Yeah, nice. And the rest of this is just some windows. You have to extend this pillar down to the ground. All right, the station at least doesn't look like it's floating. So that's a good start. And maybe fix up the end here. This end, nah, doesn't matter. I'll fix up this little part or not. I don't know. This is just an awkward little gap that I don't know what to do with this. Oh, someone added ridges on the top of the arches. Nice. All right, cool. I'm gonna call this part good for now because that's all I basically set out to do is to at least build a high-speed station here so that I can do more in the future. Let's check our tunnels because I think the operations are complete. Took a long time and other people had to wait for my <laughs> operations to complete before theirs would start. Sorry about that. It's too laggy right now to check. Oh, I just missed the train. I wanted to test the rail, ride it and see if it works. Okay, the train will come in about 20 seconds, which is this train, I suppose. When this train turns around, we can get on and head to spawn or North Tundra. And then we'll go from there. We'll tour a little bit of other people's new lines and stations, and then we'll wrap up the episode. I know this has been a long episode so far, but building a station takes time. <laughs> and I'm really happy with the progress we made here. So I'm gonna get on the train, walk to the front. This is Ruta SPW and Batus from High Speed Rail Terminal at Ooh, steep slope. It's not that bad though, because the train is not going very fast. And I don't think this the chunks will keep up. Oh, gravel. Interchange station for the Northern Heights Line, Green Line, and Wade Mara Link Line. We're going 300 now, and the chunks are not keeping up. They are? Kind of? No? Okay. It's a pretty smooth ride though. I guess because there's nothing to see, it looks smooth. <laughs> uh, I really do hope I can get an SSD soon. A better SSD so that the chunks can actually keep up. That's my only hope. Because the MSPT is good. Like. Other than chunk loading, the train simulation part of it is perfectly fine. So I'm just thinking it's the SSD speed that affects everything. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking a fast train, so there's gonna be lag from chunk loading. Okay, so we're curving... Oh! Stuff is loading. Curving from the other side, and coming back in, and to North Tundra. There's a train in front of us. Oh. Our train doesn't know that. Okay. Cool, let's just say we got off the train successfully. Okay, but here... It says Jonathan's Resort now. Nice. And so this... Maybe I should rename this high-speed line to... Jonathan's Line. Or, yeah, Resort Line or something. That would be cool. Oh, and I also noticed that Platform 1 is new times now, so I think Cake's line is done. Let's go take a ride. Clear my effects. Wow. This is really a high-speed hub now. Come on, come on. And up we go. 
to the little concourse. Oh, I do like the look of these system maps. I like how the lines bunch together. It's quite satisfying. But it's not satisfying if it doesn't work. <laughs> and then these are just separate individual lines. Cool. And then this part goes to new times. So let's go. RSD is here with me. I wonder if RSD is going to ride the train. Oh, perfect timing. Is the train coming? Or is it untextured? Oh, it's untextured. I wonder if it's just not added to the resource pack yet. If it is added to the resource pack, I can just restart my game. Okay, Cake says to reload texture. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. While my game is launching, I decided to take a look at the system map. And you can see my northeast line now goes up to my resort. And it's, wow, it's even a shorter time to get to the resort than from, oh wait no, it's a bit longer than from spawn. It's about 10 seconds difference. And then here is Nemo's little line. Resort T1 test. Okay. Cool. So we'll see how that turns out if people are going to build their own stuff at the resort without asking. <laughs> no worries if they do. Just wanted to see what people would do. So this green line goes up to North Tundra as well. So we are at Elm Park. We got off the train to reload the textures and let's see how it turns out. Ah, there we go. It's an M train with a red stripe on the side and the system map inside. Nice. I really like that. And yeah, at the end of the green line, you can see the high speed interchange. Nice. And at the front, it says North Tundra. Oh wait, we got on the wrong platform. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to go south, not back to North Tundra, but that's fine. We'll just run to the other side. Oh wow, we have to wait two minutes. I wonder why this door is closed though. Oh, and it seems like the platform doors are a little misaligned. I'll be back in two minutes, everyone. <laughs> okay, the train is coming. I was tempted to not cut out this part of the footage to make all of you wait with me. <laughs> but I didn't. I wonder why this door is locked, since there is a, a doorway here anyway. Let's go to the front of the train and see what the destination display says. New times, cool. It just gives it a little bit of life, if you know what I mean, just with the destination display. Just that extra little detail makes it feel more alive. Okay, we were at this station. What's the station again? Elm Park. And we took a look around. I like how you use the London Underground walls to make the curved, curved sides. Looks like there's a little bit of lag as well. Yeah, it's a cute little station. Yeah, I like the design, the block usage. Really nice. Let's see what the next station is. There's another train on the other side. North Monument. Okay. I wonder if there's an actual monument there. Ah, I think this was the station that I teleported to when someone told me to look at the map. Oh, RSD is right here. This is not North Monument Station, is it? That's interesting. Why did it announce that? Next station, North Monument. Was it a custom announcement? It could be a custom announcement, and it said the wrong thing. I don't know. Next station, North ah, it was copy and pasted. I saw the announcer block just now on the ground. Maybe it's just a copy and paste thing. No worries. So this is probably... North Monument. Cool. Wow. I like this design as well. And... No one's getting off. Or cake? Are you getting off? It feels very much like a New York subway style. I think Cake mentioned that in the last video. With the pillars in the middle. And I think we're going to University Square now. And Cake put in an announcement if you want to go to Lower River Change here. 
That's a nice touch. And if you have multiple interchange stations in a row, and if you want to take a U-shaped interchange, you should change at the first station. But if you're changing in the same direction, you can wait till a station down the line to change in case there's like a cross-platform interchange down the line. That's also the same concept I try to do for McFlurry and Deluxe Breakfast Station, where people will pick a different interchange station depending on the direction of interchange. So we're at New Times now. Is this the last stop? I think it's the last stop right now. Yeah, this train's going to New Times. Oh, we have to wait for that train. That's an unrefurbished M train. Technically, that one has destination displays in real life, but they're not digital displays. They're just like, I don't know, fabric or plastic signs that the driver has to swap out. So I didn't code that in yet. So you see there's no... Oh, we changed platforms. There's no destination display for that train. All right. Wow, I really like the design of the wall here. The different layers of colors. Nice job. Okay, we are at new times and this train just backs out from the same platform. Cool. And here we can change to the orange line, I think. So let's follow RSD up to the exit. Well, there's no exit right now, so this is just to lower river. Oh, what's the sign? Oh, I think this is the PIDS pole. Or no, it's it's an actual block as the trespass signage. Oh, cool. I didn't know that this block was added in the mod. Maybe I haven't been keeping up with the updates. Okay, let's see. There are no other interchanges here. And I think I've, I've visited this line in the past. So I'm going to look at the system map real quick. It looks like Lower River might connect to Northern Town in the future and then maybe down to Spawn. So what should I check out today? Ah, I'm gonna go here to Ngon Hao Station. And the new line is here. Here's the new line. So I think NG Man was the one making this line. It feels a bit like West Rail style, probably because of the platform screen door style and the high ceiling, which I do like. So I'm at On Hao Station. I don't know how long the train is gonna get take to get here two minutes okay I'm just gonna sit here again and wait all right the train is coming soon ng man is here as well all right this is an R train <laughs> the East Rail map is on here but this is not the East Rail line this is a train to Yi Lock Notice that the destination on the R train is on the other side. I think this is because most of the East Rail Line stations open the doors on the left. That's why it makes sense for the destination display to be on that side. So when the train pulls into the platform, people can easily see the destination versus the other urban line trains. The doors mostly open on the right, so the destination's on the other side. And the chunks are not keeping up again. That's quite unfortunate. Are we at the station? I can't tell. Yeah, that's pretty bad lag. I'm gonna come back to this station later, because there's something I want to show. I really like these tunnel designs though. NG Man put a lot of work in it, and earlier when we were passing through the track points from the first station, there was a there were pillars in the middle, there was like a crossover. It looked really good. And this curve also is designed very well. I wonder how long it took. Because you have to use the tunnel creator, but then you have to manually replace blocks on the sides as well. Also the track bed as well. That's not easy. Oh, this station is fenced off. Is there an interchange here for the snowy line? We're not going there right now though. We're going to Yi Lock Station, which is the end of the line. It's one more station, so this is a pretty short line. I can kind of see from the map here. <laughs> and then Callus LRT is going to be the interchange. Hmm. 
Looks like you world edited that, so the fences look kind of funny. But no worries, I'm sure this fence will go away soon, when the line actually opens. Alright, so the next station should be... Next station, Yilok. Interchange station for the Kalos LRT. Yep, the Kalos LRT. Whoa! This platform has no screen doors, it's just glass. Oh, there's a little hole here for me to get out. <laughs> Probably not intended, but I'm gonna come out anyway and go up the escalator. Wow! Fancy ceiling. Oh, I saw NG Man working on this one time. Oh, I really like this alternated exit gate design. Two dollars? What's this block? Light source? From the Jobin mod. Cool. So we go this way to the light rail. And you've got little travelators there. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is fenced off. Two dollar discount for the next ride. When's the train coming? Please not be forever. Okay, 50 seconds. Oops, I paid twice. Ah, another one of those system maps that split out. Nice. Very satisfying. Ooh, and I also like these advertisements on the sides. Whoever made this, pick some really good screenshots to show. But I feel like I've seen some of these before, like the Yanjiang Mineshaft picture I've seen, the Scott City picture I've seen, Providence I think I've seen. Callus, maybe. Fort Folium, have not seen that. Sunlin, maybe I've seen that. Lake City, I don't think I've seen. So, really cool screenshots. Oh, you notice how this sign is offset? That's just a bug. <laughs> I'll fix that in the next update. Oh, you see the nice destination display on the side of the light rail? That's part of the update as well. So go check it out. And the back has the display. It actually feels like I'm riding a light rail train now. Like a real life light rail train. The only thing missing right now is this display that says what the next station is. It's not too hard to add, it's just I wanted to release the features a little bit at a time so that people can enjoy the new features before having to wait for everything to come out all at once. So, that's mainly what I wanted to show for the light rail, that's why I jumped on the train here. But otherwise, I'm gonna... Oh, this train just changed to 801 to light rail depot. Wow. <laughs> This is route, bye, Earlier it was bye, like 810 or something, I forgot. But now it's 801 to Lyrail Depot. So we were at Yi Lock, and I think we went to... I don't know. Somewhere, and then it changed to the 801 line. And to go to LRT Depot. But I wanted to show you this station, Hanamine Machi. So let's pretend that we are down at the bottom, we just got off the train, and we will exit the station like normal. So we'll take the lift, if it doesn't lag. Come on, there we go. We'll go up one floor. Oh, we're here now. So, the reason why I wanted to show this station is because there are- oh, the stair. <laughs> there are some fun little shops on the side of the station. So, a lot of MTR stations in real life, I think this is the exit. Yeah. Smooth stone. So a lot of sh stations in real life in the MTR have shops. So we're gonna check out these shops and see what they have. So what is this? Large chest. Looks like a brewing station. You can buy potions here. There are water bottles. And nothing here so far. And you can also jump over here. <laughs> so this is a brewing station at a train station. Two empty shops. I've been asked if I want to take a shop. 
I might take a store space and do something, but I don't have any ideas on what to sell. So if you have any ideas, please put that down in the comments. Like what should I sell? What kind of store should I make? This looks like um, either a bookstore or a library. Probably a bookstore. Maze of books. Hanamine Machi. Featured title, The Starving Board Games, $10. Special, Kettle's Guide to Collecting Pans. Okay. I thought Kettle collects kettles. Like water boiling kettles, not pans. Special, Minecraft Transit Railway Owner's Manual. Nine 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 nine. wow, that's expensive. You can just watch the YouTube tutorials for free. Enjoy a magazine. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to take your chest plate there. Sorry. Here with the rain. One dollar paperback. Send Town, an official biography. Ooh, I would buy that. You have to pay for your knowledge, sorry. Yeah, it's a bookshop, definitely not a library. <laughs> Feature title, bring back our MLRs, the case. Oh, I like this. More upstairs. It's scary. Reference, the Angels Encyclopedia. Books for kids. A is for calf. <laughs> That's funny. The reason is because A trains on the MTR, they're supposed to be called calf trains, but it's commonly known as the A train, which I don't think is the proper name for them. I've just learned that after adding them to the mod and then other people corrected me. So it's supposed to be the calf train. The captain's tail, $10 paperback. The reading table. Can't actually sit there. <laughs> Cause I can't fit in that space. Politics. Ooh. The Rare Replacement Bus Manifesto. Nice. <laughs> These are very creative book titles. Oh, not supposed to be standing in there. Okay, good job whoever made this bookstore. Empty spot here. Oops, should probably turn off barriers. Get another one of Kettle's Bottle Shops. Definitely not the first. Oh, this is full of Novi Vodkas. Does this guy also sell them? No, this is just a fisherman. <laughs> and then this is WR Bus Parts Store by Navi. Okay. So I'm going to translate all of these in case some of you don't read Chinese. This is a Danai Si Biu Ban. Dennis Dashboard. So for the Trident, I think. From ATE 208. That's where this this dashboard came from. This is another ATE bus that we got the dashboard from. Sung Tang Bozam Team Y. Upper deck bus stop announcing thing. <laughs> Fiber. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. ZF Baozai. Uh, what's that in English? S gear switching thing? Voice. Oh, the subtitle says can connect to OMSI. And that's, a, I think it's another simulation game similar to BVE where you can drive buses. Wheel cover for the Dennis bus. Trans bus wheel cover. This is Yang Hei Pai. Oxygen cover. A V W Z Fai Dang Ho Lin Zip Yi Sub Se Walk Din Jack Dang I think this is the indicator or turn signal for the A V W bus. Is A V W Super Olympian? I forgot. And then Fu Sao Di Wan Handrail Strap. These are pretty expensive. Look how many emeralds you need to buy them. And this one is only one emerald. Oh, this one's sold out too. Okay, cool. This is a bus parts shop. I don't know why this would be in a metro station, <laughs> but it's very creative and I'm impressed how you can get all the trades on the villager. Probably some custom commands with MBT, but I don't know how to do that. So good job. What is this hole? Is this a train operator's little space? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up this video here. Last time we did a lot of touring, so this time I'm gonna cut back.
back a little on the touring and focus on building. So today we built the high speed station at Jonathan's resort and a bunch of others joined me to build other stuff there as well, which is really cool. Teamwork is always what makes the dream work. <laughs> what always makes Minecraft servers fun is the people that help out. So if you want to join the Let's Play server, please join the Discord and the instructions are there. I always get comments asking me how do I join the server? Just click the Discord link down in the description of the video and follow the instructions there. And I'm excited to see more and more people join and hopefully get a new SSD as well when I have the money. So please support the Patreon if you are able so that I can get a new SSD so that chunk loading will be faster and I can ride the high speed rail smoothly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more. I have a lot of different things I want to build in the future and I'm excited about that. Like this video, please, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I will say bye to everyone and NG man. Looks like no other trains are coming, so goodbye.